Hey, what up, citizens of YouTube? Welcome to Seattle Sonics Basketball. Final episode of Season 2. As you can see, we're on the outside looking into the playoff picture. But damn, what a great season for these Seattle Sonics, man. Um, last year, won 25 games. Right now, we're standing 42 games. We've played... So that would be like 79 games. We've got three more games left. 79 games, 42 wins. To me, a really great season. An absolute gem of a season. 42 and 37. Um, um, man, this game was amazing versus the uh, Los Angeles Lakers, man. Um, just Jalen Suggs, man. The last shot, sinks it, beats the Lakers. The only time in the history of us coming back as an expansion team that we've beaten the Los Angeles Lakers. And he's talking about inner free agency when his contract is up. We are going to lock you up, son. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> you are the future point guard. Playability is getting better. He's getting better. His shooting's getting better, even though that badge says zero. <laughs> but his playmaking, his finishing, 19 badges, he's coming back next year. He's coming back after his rookie deal is up. Absolutely. We got a lot to play for, man. Three more games left. I decided to make this a big episode. Uh, we're not going to watch a quarter of a game. We're not going to do that. We're just going to uh, go to the fourth quarters. If it's a tight fourth quarter, we'll watch it. But other than that, no, no more, uh, no more, no first quarters. We're gonna get in and get out. See if we're gonna make the playoffs. Of course, guys, let's just look at the roster entirely. Jalen Suggs, of course, is refilling it. He's hot. Gary Harris. Hopefully, will be a bench uh, shooting guard. I hope to get a shooting guard, a starting shooting guard, either in free agency or the draft. But I'm kind of looking toward the draft for that. I mean, not the draft, but free agency for that. Eldon James has filled in nicely, a nice future player that's going to be uh, going to just get better. Miles Bridges is, of course, on that nice deal that we gave him about three years. I'm um, still young, like 24, 25 years old. He'll be around for a while. Robert Williams, of course, is young. He's going to be here for a while. Um, Jay Crowder, I'm probably looking to move on from him, but right now he fills a role off the bench. Um, Tudor, can't never pronounce that last name. Picked him in the draft last year, and he's been really exciting. Hits threes on occasion. I, I'm really liking him. I think he has a future here, definitely. Burke. Nice off the bench. Thompson back from injury and filling in pretty nicely off the bench. Um, and uh, Matt Thomas, actually a really good three-point shooter. Made some key shots in the Lakers game. And he's hot right now, so I gave him some minutes. Uh, Grant Williams is cold, so I reduced his minutes to eight. He comes off. Jay Crowder, of course, uh, Miles Bridges and Jay Crowder will start over him. Quartz Moss, of course, coming off the bench as my small forward. And Trey Mann, of course, is the third, uh, the third point guard in the, the point, the third point guard in the rotation. I took uh, Stevens and Martin out, but we're gonna go through it, man. We're gonna find out if we're gonna make the playoffs in this episode. So if you're here, thank God that you're here. This is gonna be the final. This is the final time. For this season, other than the playoffs, that the Sonics, you'll see Sonics basketball. Hopefully you don't get an off-season video. I want to be in the playoffs. And I do have us practicing for the Force. The Force are a playoff team. So this is, this is kind of, this is pretty, pretty cool. This is two playoff teams, man. Uh, well, two hopeful playoff teams. We're hoping to make the playoffs. Um, they're, I think they're going to probably make the playoffs. So here we go. I will make this a little bit faster. If you get in the fourth quarter, yeah, slow it down. 
And we got a good lead. Big lead for the Seattle Sonics as we take down the force. A playoff team. And our streak continues, man. Big game. Suck scores 28 and a blowout win over the force. Final 133 to 87. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was a big win. Will be box score. Jalen Suggs, 28 points. Another 20-something-odd point game for him. Of course, Miles, 18, four rebounds, three assists. Miles Bridges, 17.6 rebounds. A double-double for Robert Williams. A double-double for Tristan Thompson. And this is how you want to do it. This is how you want to do it, man. I didn't check out the force, though. They got some players. They got Luke Kennard, Patrick Beverly, and, um, Drummond. And I guess that's Mikal Bridges, uh, Miles Bridges' brother. Damn good team we just beat on that. Damn good team we just beat, guys. That's a damn good win. We dismantled the force. Now we got to see, of course, uh, I'm trying to see if we're even close to a playoff spot right now. How's it looking? Grizzlies won. We're still at eight. We're still at a uh, nine. Jazz. Between us and the Jazz right now. And maybe we might get in the play-in tournament. Maybe that might be it. Maybe the play-in tournament will be it. The Pittsburgh Force are in the playoffs. They're the seventh seed in the East, by the way. Um, after that beatdown, I will not schedule a practice. I will look at our game plan again. I'll look at our roster again. See who's tearing it up. They say that James is cold. So I'm going to put him. I'll take him out of the starting spot and put Quartzmaz in that spot. So I got two cold players coming off the bench, man. This is bad. And do I put Harris out or do I just leave? Well, I want to leave a two door in the second spot because we need the help. Thompson's hot. Mike Thomas is hot. Actually, they're hot. I'm tempted to take one of, I'm tempted to put two door up there where uh, Harris is, but I kind of don't want to mess things up Things are good right now. Things are really good. Want to keep it the same. We will not practice for this next game against the Celtics. We'll simulate that. See where we're at. For the Celtics game. Of course, we did beat the Celtics in Boston, so let's see if we can... Get it at home. And we'll start simulation. And we come out kind of flat. Really flat. But still close game. And now we're trading baskets. Hoping to get it to the fourth quarter late. But how long can this streak continue? We kind of need this game because I know versus the Nets, they have a lot of firepower. They still got Kevin Durant and James Harding, and it's hard to beat them. So it would be nice to us to get this on at home, and we look like we're going to do just that. And the Seattle Sonics making a statement. If we don't make the playoffs, hey, man, we don't make the playoffs, it's, it's hey, we did what we could, man, because this was a hell of a run. Bridges Sonics have their way with the Celtics, 131 to 101. We'll return the calendar. Team is gelling really good. We look at the box score. Miles Bridges, 24.7 rebounds and assist. Suggs, 19, 4, 9 assists. 16 points, 5 rebounds for Quartz Moss, 13-2 for Eldon James off the bench, 12 points for Harris, 10 points for Burke. Even Grant Williams gave me 10 points. He wasn't cold. In fact, he hit all his shots. Door. 
And the Celtics have uh, Toppin, they have Reed, they got Jalen Brown, Kevin Love. They don't seem like the same team in real life. And I don't even know. And Tatum was out. He didn't play. So we're going to have to deal with him. How's everybody talking in the media? Nothing about us. 44 and 37, guys. And it still says we're on the outside looking in. Or we're tied with the Wolves. I think we're tied with the Timberwolves right now. I'm not saying about us securing a spot either. We might be screwed for this, but man, what a season. 44 and 37. The Minnesota Timberwolves are 44 and 37. Do they have any games left? What game? What team? What? Do they have any games left? Who are they playing? Please let it be some really tough team. They did lose to the Jazz, so that jumped the Jazz up. They've had a three-game losing streak while we've been uh, while we've been winning. Last loss was to the Nets. Damn good season, guys. This is awesome. Damn good season. Where they have us at the power rankings, man? They have that was high now. Probably one of the biggest stories of the season was the Seattle Sonics and their surge, man. Got 21. Eric Boanis. Why are they hating on the Sonics, man? Eric Boanis sort of gives me some love, but not much. Um, Could be a play-in tournament sort of thing. We could do that. And if, if it's a play-in tournament, tournament with the Wolf Timberwolves, that's going to be its own episode because um, that's big. Um, let me go ahead and check our roster because we're about to play the uh, Nets again. Who gives us problems? Anyone cold? No one's cold. Everyone's good. Elden James, do I want to take him? I kind of like to have course mods, but I kind of want... Um, Kind of want to put Elden James back in the starting rotation. Keep our roster, our uh, starting five about the same. Tudor, I want to keep him off the bench. Thomas, of course, will come off the bench. Williams, since he's hot. Want Miles Bridges to have 30. Jake Crowder. Put Grant Williams in there. Swap minutes. Since he's hot. Of course, Moss will come off the bench. That's how we'll go into the last game of the season. 44 and 37, guys. Um, let me remind you, last year this team um, was 25. We had 25 wins total last year. Damn good season. And we're going to keep everybody rested, no practice. We know how important this game is, but I don't. I want to have my guys ready to play, we're playing on the road. Did we lose to the Nets at home? I, I remember the last time we played them on the road. I probably should practice, but lately I haven't been practicing, and they actually – Play better. <laughs> I don't know. But we did practice before the force game, and we had about the similar things. I don't know if there's anything to that. Now, a reminder, we are playing Kevin Durant and James Harden on the same team. That's the only thing that makes me nervous about this. But we're hot. They're not going to the playoffs. They're not even close to the playoffs. We're close to the playoffs. So I just... Hope the simulation is nice. And right now, man, yeah, we're getting it done. We are getting it done. What a hot end, man. What a great, what a season, man. I love it. I love it. I love the way, you know, despite the Miles Bridges injury and all that stuff, I liked how we just came out gangbusters. Oh, man, they made it a close game. It's close now. 
But I love I love the way our season went. This has been really cool. This has been really cool. And we'll stop here. I'm going to get in the game, guys. Because this is the last game of the season for us. I don't want to say, well, we just simmed past it. Um, I think we're on a six-game winning streak to end the season. You couldn't ask for a better... You couldn't ask for a better end to a season, man. Just couldn't. Season's been awesome. So if we don't make the playoffs, that, I hate it, but at the same time, man, I can't. And I, the rise of guards like Steph Curry and Trey Young. I can't complain, man. What a what a great season. It's like the little guys are really making their mark in the NBA. Well, it's starting to affect Kevin the way that really management is looking at building out their team. I'm trying to find wings that are equipped with defensive ability, but willingness to shoot. Get in there, sucks. Guards yes. Small enough and quick enough to get you an advantage to spread the floor a little bit. So uh, the three ball and the way team construction has happened has changed the league quite rapidly. It's not the whole first season. We got so. Williams is out there with Bridges, and it's court miles with the small forward. Get in there, Bridges. We're getting inside. A dangerous score. Getting it inside. Every area. Bridges, very good at capitalizing in a number of ways. And to do it on the road, man, against a really tough, uh, you know, you got Durant. You got Harden, of course. And, just the way we ended the season, man. I knew it last time when I watched the Laker game. I was like, man, this team is legit. We would be scary in the playoffs. And that's the thing that sort of would be disappointing is if we don't make the playoffs, it would be very, I mean, we are scary. We are really, really good. Um, I, don't, I think a, a team would not, I don't think we'd get swept. I mean, if we played Oklahoma City, and we're the eighth seed, we'd have to play Oklahoma City. I still think we'd give them a game or two. I don't think we'd get swept, you know. I think we got a pretty good team in Seattle. I really do. I think I built this roster pretty good. Suggs, man, has just been a beast lately. He's been a beast lately. Get your own rebound, Robert. Nope. But it doesn't matter. We're getting this dub and hope that the Timberwolves lose or maybe we have a tie and we have to play a sort of play playing tournament sort of game. Kevin, Kevin Durant is, well, Kevin Durant. I always felt like he was going to go to Phoenix, man. You know, I think that's where he should have went to begin with. I don't, I think him going to Brooklyn the only thing I saw him going to New York is if he went to, like, the Knicks. Because the Knicks really need, like, the Knicks really need something, man. They they really need a pop or some sort of media attention. And that's the way to get it would have been to get, like, a Kevin Durant. You know? I think that would have made more sense than going to the Knicks. Him going to the Suns, I think, uh... I always said he should have went to the Suns. I think right now he's injured, though. So, I was hoping to see player of the game for this, and I probably won't get to see it, unfortunately. But I'm just, man, we went, we went out to end the season. Are you kidding me? And we beat a playoff team, and we beat the Lakers. I mean, come on now. This has been this has been great. Execution by the players. Everything. This has been great. And so check it out. Their season record. This team will become their 45th win. And you know this is a win they wanted badly, guys. They did not want to get swept in the season series. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight for Miles Bridges. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Miles Bridges. Now, Big free agent get, man. Paid off. Maybe we make the playoffs. I'm hoping we do. 
Got the backups in. He is harder than he that shot, and it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a beautiful bump there. Seattle did take the floor. Forty-fifth win, man. Forty-five wins. We won twenty more games. The ball, Seattle will take the position ball. James Harden don't ain't, don't do this anymore, does he? I never I never watch James Harden anymore. All I remember for James Harden is him dribbling a lot and uh, getting fouled. That's the only thing I remember him for. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Man. Oh, yep. well. Can't have it all. Harden outside. Here's Harden. Oh, and that one. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Harden. Harden Wiley creates so many opportunities. But we get the dub. And it's hard to stay at home. And we get the dub. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the game tonight. He says that they bring an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking. Especially if they play at home. I mean, you've got just a masterful performance all the way around. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on the sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Miles Bridges, I'm going to call it. Yes. Congrats on the win. Can this team carry the momentum into the next game? We hope it's a next game, man. 30 points for my boy. Thanks again for your time, man. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about does it for the final game of the NBA regular season. Yes, sir. For Greg Anthony, Brett Perry, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Arnold. Thanks for watching. Now we're going to find out if that's enough to get us a playoff spot. I know if that's enough to get us a playoff set. Before we do that, Kev Kevin Durant, 21 points, 8 rebounds. Pritchard, 17 points, 5 rebounds, assists. James Harden. They didn't really go off. Nobody really went off on us. The Sonics, man. 30 points for my boy, Miles Bridges. 17, 4, and 9 assists for my boy, Suggs. 10 and 6. Assist for Eldon James, a double double for Robert Williams again. Tristan Thompson with the 10 rebounds. Just an awesome way to end the season. First quarter, beat them. Second quarter, they edged us out. Third quarter, edged us out. And we took it over in the fourth quarter, outscoring them by 15 points. Is this enough, man? Is this enough to get us a playoff spot? That's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. Is like, let's get a play-in tournament or something. If we have a play-in tournament. I'm fine with it. Trey Young is your league MVP, it, it turns out. They say I can override it. I'm like, why would I override it? NBA first team, Donkage, Douglas, yep. Dude, what does that say? We're in the playoffs. Hell yeah, play-in tournament, though. It's the play-in tournament. Because I think Golden State's clinched, OKC clinched, Memphis. We have to play Utah. And, uh, yeah, we're in these... Oh, yeah, 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 man. We're in the play-in tournament. So that's how that kind of works. I've never really seen the play-in tournament work. So I have no idea. Man, we're in the play-in tournament, guys. That's going to be its own episode. Or we could get it right now and see if we make the playoffs. Because I got 24 minutes in this. Maybe we should play it. To get in the play-in tournament. Get in the play-in tournament. 
Wow. So we got in a play-in tournament. I never knew how the play-in tournament worked. Never really looked at it. And I guess you can't look at playoffs or anything anymore. Um, league standings, of course, we can look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sonics came in at seven. Utah Jazz at eight. But why would we be in a play-in tournament? Shouldn't we like we secured the seventh spot? I think we're in. I think we're, I think we're in. I think we're in the series. Yeah, because I think with Minnesota and Denver, that would be a play-in tournament. But you would go here and you would play. Someone has to play you go play Golden State. And then someone has to get in pencil in to play OKC. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of curious. Kind of see, kind of see, let's see how it happens. Play game. We're going to go ahead and hit simulcast. Jazz Sonics game one. If it's a playing game, I'm not sure how this works. I'm just going to go ahead and we'll just get it in for this, for this one. See how it goes. And we will go ahead and get to the fourth quarter. And I don't know if we're actually in the series. I think since we're the seventh seed, I think we're safe. I mean, this should be game one of our, uh, of our series. I'm thinking. <laughs> Could be wrong. I don't know, but it looks like we're not going to win. <laughs> it's like the Jazz are just like, yeah. Here come the Jazz. And, yeah, that's we lay an egg in the playing game. It's like we're going to lay an egg. Go ahead and make this faster. We're going to lose. We're going to lose. So they beat us. 104 to 88. I guess it is a series. Okay, never mind. We lose to the Jazz to start our, for our playoff thing. I didn't mean to do that because if I knew that, I would have just went ahead and just did a... Did a Game one, game two. Jazz kill us. Wow. Gary Harris is cold. It didn't take four minutes away from anybody. Yeah, we actually made the, uh, we actually made the playoff. So we were safe anyway. There's swap minutes for players. I give Burke more minutes, give you less minutes. Since you're cold. Two minutes went to somebody. I don't know what happened. That's right, that's right. They say shooting guard. I'm gonna get Elvin James some more minutes. 16, 16. Yeah, that's Harris. Okay, there we go. Man, we got blown out. We got blown out. 
We got blown out, man. So we made the playoffs and we get blown out. Let's see how we do in game two then. Can we get a game two? Or did we lose and that's it? Yeah, you know it's bad. When nobody scores in their 20s, we're screwed. Only Robert Williams showed up. Donovan Mitchell, of course, always shows up. Clarkson, Griffin. Oh, God. Utah did make it. We got eliminated. We got eliminated, man. So I did right. Yep, we were one of those play-in tournament teams that we... We lost. Lost pretty bad. We'll simulate play in. Seattle Sonics have been eliminated. What a great season, and it had to end like that. The Pittsburgh Force have been eliminated. And there you go. And that is the playoffs. It was a play in tournament, and we lost. But still, still a great season. Still a great season. So, let me see here. Um, I wanted to look at something. I don't think I can look at it here. Of course, now it's off-season time and draft. Off-season time and draft. That's what we got to look forward to. But guys, we've come a long way. We lost to the Timberwolves too? We didn't play the Timberwolves. I don't know what they're talking about. Well, when you think about where we came from, dude, last year, 25, 57, this year, 45 and 37. We're not that far away. We are not that far away. You look at the season, offensive ranking, we score more points. Three-point shooting was better. Rebound the ball better. Offensive rebounds were better. Defensive rebounds were better. We blocked more, fouled less. We had less turnovers than last year. Come a long way. We've come a long way. And even though I don't want to build this team off of just free agents, I can't lie and say I don't want another shooting guard. James Harden, I'm not going to try to afford him. I think Egbo will be signed again. He's 85 overall. He's 21 years old. Tyler Hero could be someone we look at. Most definitely 23 years old. Definitely could be someone we look at. Um, Halliburton, he could be a guy we look at. Um, Karis LeVert, kind of older, be a guy we look at for shooting guard. So we got some, got some people we're looking at in free agency, most definitely. I think I'm really kind of looking at mostly at shooting guard. But uh, as far as looking for a free agency or anything to rebuild the team, we're not going to do that. We're definitely going to draft. We got draft picks. We're going to use them to make the team better through the draft. And unfortunately, they do not have my picks up here. But I was looking at the board at the mock draft. Got a real good power forward that might be going to the Surf. Surf one of the worst teams. Knicks, Hawks, Nets, Wild. We're going to be down because we made the playoffs. So we're probably not going to get a good lottery pick. They look for us to take a point guard. I most likely won't. It would be nice to have someone off the bench that's young that can get better. 
but I'm mostly uh, I'm looking at the future. Mostly plow powerful. Uh, I'll tell you the part, shooting guard, um, a future bench center, another bench power forward, and I think that's about it. I think we're good at power point guard. I think we can use another young point guard to come off the bench. But other than that, I, I like the way we're looking, man. 45 games. Um, we're going to definitely make waves next year. We look at the league leaders. They don't say that. Oh, this in the playoffs. Okay, never mind. They, they took off the regular season? Guess so. They only have the rookie report? Okay, let's do the rookie report. Jack Neal, Greg Irvin, OJ Douglas, Corey Ball of the Barons, Posey, Olick, Markov, Howell, Scott, Tyler Bright Foreman, Albert Swift, Vic Rush, Bo Rhodes, Lester Atkins, Andrew Weber, Eldon James comes in at 16th. But at least he made the list. As starter. This game's got so much stuff you can look at. It's, it's sort of crazy. It is crazy. Who was off the bench? Said we got some players off the bench that did good. Eldon James was good off the bench sometimes when he get there. And Tudor made the list coming off the bench too. So that's pretty cool right there that they do all this stuff. Wins. Eldon James. There are wins, losses. This game's insane. It's just too much stuff. But it's fun. What a second season. And I hate the fact that I just simmed the playoff, the uh, play-in game. But if we're going to get beat like that, I, I'd rather just get off of it anyway. So it's not a bad video. But guys, what do y'all think about that second year of Seattle Sonic basketball? I think it was good. Off-season video, I'm not in a rush to do it. But it's definitely coming up. Um... I want to look at some things, look at how I want to set up my draft board and all that stuff and see if we can make some trade. Might do even a little bit of trading to trade up a little bit. Don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, might want to move on from Jay Crowder, you know, and see if we can get some pieces in the draft for the future of the team so we can let some of these veteran contracts go and push this team more into the future with young, young talent. Bring in another shooting guard for the starting five to go along with Bridges, Robert Williams, Suggs, and Eldon James, you know. Because I think we got four great pieces at starting five. We just need one more piece. And I think the starting five is a legit contender in the Western Conference. Guys. Short video, kind of, I wanted to make it a little bit longer, so I'm kind of glad I went through the play-in game to make it a little bit longer. I didn't want to held off suspense. I wanted to kill this season off in this video, and I think I just did that. So I did what I came to do with a little confusion, but we got there. But I am very excited about Seattle Sonic basketball heading into season three. Guys, Thank y'all. Thank y'all for supporting the guys who watch. Got my views up for this, for my videos. Guys, thank y'all. This is for y'all. This is why I love this stuff. Love franchise. Let's get it in for season three. I'll be doing a season, uh, season two off season heading into season three coming up very, very soon. Guys, thank y'all. Peace.